it's that time of year for creatures of the night to roam up and down the short north. Of course I'm talking about Highball, that street party that's part fashion show, part freak show, part fundraiser for the Short North Business Association. If you saw the giant Day of the Dead puppets last year, our cameras actually followed the creation process. To sculptor Bruce Hanners who made them, to the dancers who brought them to life, it's an exercise in just why we all love to boogie on down the undead. Uh, the goal for tonight is to get the puppets uh, up and running, up and moving, and choreograph some fun dance moves for them to do on stage, and also to choreograph some fun interactive moves for them to do with the festival goers at Haiba. It's extremely difficult. Uh, they're heavy, they're unwieldy, um, they have lots of motion, um, they're constantly moving and unpredictable, um, but that's also the fun part about them. We're learning to how to control them and also maximize their movement. She's not that heavy, she's just awkward. And where my center of gravity is down here, her center is way up there. So I gotta support it down here. Yeah, can we try a couple arm, arm dance moves back and forth? Um, Like the name of those skeletons, we call them a skeletos, which is skeleton in Spanish, but the slang term for them are calacos. And calacos is a word that is actually a sound of a bag of bones. You know, the bones clacking together, so they're known as calacos or calacas if it's a female. That's why when you see the Day of the Dead, you really see a large number of skeletons that are dancing around because they are, you know, they're, they're having this amazing festival and the, the ancestors are coming back and partying with the people on the Day of the Dead, so it's, a, it's, it's not something gory or, or um, horrific or any of that. It's actually a wonderful celebration of your ancestors. I just really get great pleasure out of building things and making things. Um, a 15 foot tall dancing skeleton, I had to choose aluminum, a very flexible aluminum, because of the way these joints are banging around. And it had to be built that it was going to be tackled by, you know, a, a, a bunch of drunk college students. So it had to be built within that, that reality that would be crashed to the ground, all tumbled up, and then be able to jump back up and boogie on down the road, so to speak. And I was working with a group of people who have that kind of uh, human regard for sculptural objects, you know, and say, this sculpture has a life of its own and we're going to respect that and we're going to nurture that. A couple of inches. That kind of intuition that everyone had helped us realize the, the full potential of these sculptures and, and their kind of human characteristics. they respond so well to your own body's movement. So if you're dancing, they're dancing. And it's like you're dancing with a partner. At the same time, it's also like your movement is being kind of augmented and kind of sent through space. Uh, so it's this great experience that I've never gotten to have before. I've never had the experience of dancing with a, you know, a giant structure like that before with the Brazilian Carnival and uh, having seen really just extraordinary, um, again, festejadas, you know, these incredible festivals, um, the opportunity to bring some of that here it was really a, a just, I'm just so thankful and grateful to be involved. It was a powerful experience to realize that three people can make a giant sculpture come to life and how much that meant and how, what, a, what a powerful impact that had on the viewers and the people experiencing them. That's, those are all the things that I am trying to address in my own dance work that has been you know, for the stage or maybe site specific or for video. But that's always my goal, is to just open up the lines of communication through the body. Human bodies feel so small compared to these skeletons. You know, when we were first walked around the corner, people just swarmed up to the puppets. And you know, this was our very first moment interacting with the public. You know, people seemed to feel really welcome to interact with them. Without her, I just made a sculpture.
just having the experience in my dance background now changes, changes everything for me.